Hi, it's time for the math. Easy solution. We're going to discuss further into derivatives of inverse hyperbolic trigonometry and now look at uh, basically the derivative of hyperbolic tan of uh, I mean inverse hyperbolic tan of x right here and show that it's equal to 1 divided by 1 minus x squared. And basically, like always, uh, the proof of this we usually just start with just letting y equals 2 hyperbolic uh, inverse hyperbolic tan of x right here. And now with inverse function, this is the exact same way as writing basically x is equal to hyperbolic tan of y right here. So with inverse functions, we just switch x and y. Now we have to solve for y right here. And now the way to do this is basically using implicit differentiation to find a derivative on both sides. So basically, if we take derivative of both sides left on the left side and right side, we're allowed to do this because remember the left side and right side are equal, so the derivatives have to be equal as well. So now d over dx of now hyperbolic tan of y. So in a derivative left side, this derivative of x is just 1. You can even just see by canceling. So 1 equals here. Equals on this side, we have to use chain rule as well as basically we have to know the derivative of hyperbolic tan of uh, y right here. And that is just equal to, like I showed my earlier video, hyperbolic secant uh, squared right here of y. And you can see this in the video link below for proof of hyperbolic I'm the derivative of this one here, but now we have to use chain rule, and like always, chain rule, we're going to have to go dy over dx, and this just equals 2, another way of writing it, so uh, hyperbolic secant squared, and that times it by y, uh, y prime, the same thing as dy over dx. So now if we solve for y prime, that just equals 2, 1 divided by hyperbolic, yeah, we just move this over to the left side, hyperbolic secant squared of y right here. And now, basically, uh, we want to write this in terms of x. So what we do is actually apply the hyperbola identity. If we look at it, we know that hyperbolic uh, cosine of y minus sine, hyperbolic sine squared of y right here is equal to 1. You can see the proof of this also in the video link below. So now what you could do here, if we divide left side and right side by cosine, or just divide everything by hyperbolic cosine squared of y, We'll do that on every side, so we're not changing anything. Hyperbolic cosine of y right here, squared of hyperbolic cosine squared of y. So then this one here, this cancels will become a one minus, and then this one here, this is by definition, uh, this is the same thing as hyperbolic tan squared of y. And now this right side, this is just the definition of hyperbolic secant uh, squared. So this is going to be hyperbolic secant. Uh, squared right here. So now we have formula for hyperbolic secant squared of y. So we could plug that in here. So we know that y prime is equal to 1 divided by uh, hyperbolic secant uh, squared of y right here equals 2. Now plug this in. So we get 1 over 1 minus tan uh, squared right here. And now the reason we have this is because we know what hyperbolic tan squared of y is. If we scroll up, Right from the beginning of our proof, we know that x is equal to hyperbolic tan of y. So if x is equal to that, this is just a squared version. So we have this is x squared right here. So we have our derivative. So we know that y prime is equal to 1 minus 1 minus x squared. And that is basically equals to, well, this is the same thing as derivative of dy over dx of hyperbolic um, inverse hyperbolic tan of x right here. And there is our proof. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this. And remember, you can download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And also in the video links below in the description, there's also vi uh, video links to a bunch of related videos, like proof of derivative of hyperbolic tan and to show why it's equal to hyper hyperbolic secant squared. So there's a lot of other stuff. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.